what's going on guys it's your boy jesse d123 back with another video and in today's video we're going to show you guys the best cards to use for the milestone members only event drop a like if you guys are excited man if you guys have not clicked that subscribe button yet please consider doing so we're on the road to 2.3k subs man if you guys don't see our number at 2.3k yet please be the cool guy girl that helps us get that much closer i really appreciate it before we hop into today's video you guys know we got to give today's comment shout out shout out to these four legends shout out to my boy sad for commenting first yesterday shout out to my boy giselle for being the second shout out to my boy jeffrey for being the third and finally shout out to my boy giovanni for being the fourth person so without further ado man let's hop right into today's video the milestone members only event part one of one ends december 14th and obviously i'm recording this video the day this video goes up so that's in 13 days guys you guys got to get on your grind so i believe it's 25 wins to get the cal ripkin jr milestone card which looks pretty interesting was never a really big fan of his cards in this game but if we do get him we'll give him a shot <laughs> But before we show you guys the best cards to use, I just want to remind you guys, we dropped a hidden rewards um, for the nine spots conquest map that was dropped yesterday. Um, we uploaded kind of late because we got out of work late, guys. So I apologize. But the ninth inning nine spots um, video is live. Please go click that link down in the description. I threw it on your guys' screen when I was when I started to talk about it. Um, the hidden rewards for this conquest map, it was a good one. Um, quantity over quality again, but it is what it is. No, yeah, quantity over quality again um uh, but yeah guys so let's show you guys the best cards to use and guys um i'm gonna just start off by saying there's a lot of cards that need to be in my lineup but i have them in freaking packs that i have to open so i'm just gonna configure the best team with the with, with the cards i have right now and we're gonna go over some other cards at the end um that you guys should be having as well because there's a lot that i'm missing as well so for pitchers guys um i know a pitcher i'm missing just right off the bat is uh christy matthewson if you guys have that card go ahead and use him but let's just go over my team right here guys so i have uh starting pitchers we have the justin verlander card this card is damn near probably the best pitcher in the game maxed out hits per nine four seam cutter disgusting card you guys gotta have them in your rotation the outlier card this card is really really good as well gotta have them greg maddox just to mix it up man greg maddox has a sinker cutter but he throws very very slow <laughs> he can dot but if you bring in someone who throws hard and then bring in greg maddox it's gonna mess up your opponent's timing next we have the chris sale card chris sale always has a funky windup, so i gotta use him and finally the king felix hernandez card this card has a sinker slurve and cutter by far the three best pitches in this game with 121 hits per nine bro 120 i should say this card is really, really good. I think this is the uh, starting five you guys should be using. You guys can use Max Scherzer as well. Cole Hamels is good. Bob Gibson is always good. And they're, like I said, Christy Matthewson. I'm missing now because I don't have that card yet. Um, but there's some some that you guys should be using. I'm going to go over at the end. So relief pitchers, not not too many from here. I really didn't find any commons. Now we're moving on to the closing pitchers. Pretty much I'm using every single milestone card I have. Minus Jerry's Familia. Obviously, same situation with the starting um position there's some cards in the bullpen that should be in there like the rick gosses card i don't have that milestone card but you guys should have them in your bullpen but we got mario we have bruce Suter, we have edwin diaz um lee smith troy percival john franco mariano rivera trevor hoffman and then we have kenley i would say kenley for sure is a, a lock mariano john franco lee smith those guys you guys gotta have them in your pen if you guys have those cards the other ones you guys can flip flop for a couple other cards that we'll mention on later now for catchers guys excuse me there's only one catcher that has a milestone card and that's jason kendall i would say majority of you guys have this craig biggio card he does play catcher as a secondary make sure this man's your catcher he has 89 fielding but when he goes to catching he's only gonna have 84 and he hits really really well he's a really really good card um have him as your catcher now for first base guys who do i have at first base i believe i have i have miguel cabrera yeah, miguel cabrera he has high contact against both sides gotta use him at first base um i have chris davis at on the bench as well come on now 125 power against right he's gotta have him on the bench moving on to second baseman i told you guys craig biggio is my catcher moving on to my actual second baseman is though it's gonna be brian roberts um this card is really really underrated love this card man as you guys can see i'm in parallel three um, he's a switch hitter, which is amazing. 83 fielding with 88 reaction. Love that. 
at third base we have pablo sandoval now this guy literally kills righties he's a switch hitter and he has diamond defense nothing else needed to be explained for this card he should be your third baseman zimmerman is good but i don't really like his swing pablo he's a switch hitter i think that's common sense moving on to shortstop uh barry larkin no questions asked should be your shortstop um jonathan vr is also a good option as well but i just don't like that 70 fielding at shortstop um, Barry Larkin should be your shortstop going on to the outfield now the outfield guys mine's gonna look a little different like I said earlier because I don't have the Willie Mays I don't have um the Willie Mays who's the other big name that I'm missing oh my Hank Aaron there you go Willie Mays Hank Aaron I don't have those cards obviously they would be in my outfield if I did but I don't so we're just gonna go over the cards I'm using so we have Alfonso Soriano as our starting left fielder we have Ricky Henderson on the bench Luis Gonzalez on the bench and Lou Brock on the bench um that's what we have from left fielders moving on to center fielder, fielders i'm starting matt camp because i love matt camp man he's a dodger amazing card i love his cards and um, i'm trying to parallel him up as well so he's my starting center fielder and the only right fielder i'm using from the right field position is the christian yelich and he's getting the start over there in right field dante bachette is on my bench speaking of bench we have ricky henderson for speed purposes lou brock for the same situation dante bachette because he has high contact against uh, and high, high stats against lefties. Chris Davis has high stats against righties. And then Luis Gonzalez has high, stat, high stats against righties. So just in case for any pinch hit opportunities come up, I have the right people on the bench to substitute and put them in. So let's go over those cards that I was talking about um, on the market that some of them I don't have that some of you guys might have. And you're like, Jesse, wait a minute. What are you doing? Like, <laughs> You should be using these cards. So obviously, Gosses, if you have them, use them. Christy Matthewson, if you have them, use them because he has a screwball and a sinker. By the blue, again, if you have them, use them. Kerry Wood, we didn't mention him. George Foster, this card is really, if you guys have this card, you guys got to use him. He's disgusting, just stat-wise. Ralph Kiner, you guys can throw him on your bench or start him. Or Hershiser as well, start him. Lou Gehrig as well. I don't, how can I forget about Lou? <laughs> um, Justin Verlander, are we name, name. Willie Mays, obviously, center fielder, good option. Um... Ed Davis, Eric Davis, I would say stay away from, but if you have him, go ahead and try him out. Dennis Eckersley is always a good option as well for your starting rotation. Why did I click that? And I just reset everything. Sorry, guys. Hubert, go ahead and use him as well. Gagne as well. Arietta, if you have him, use him. Nolan Ryan, if you have him, use him. You guys get the point, guys. There's some cards that I don't have on my, on, on my inventory that some of you guys might. And go ahead and use the better cards, especially like I should be using Hank Aaron and Willie Mays, but I don't have those packs unlocked yet. If I did, they would be starting in my alpha and I wouldn't be using, um, wouldn't be using Yelich. I wouldn't be using like, uh, Matt Camp or, you know, I'll be using better cards in a sense. But yeah, guys, so those are the best cards to use for this event. Let me know, are you guys going to be grinding this event? I'm going to be grinding it a little bit. I'm going to get more wins than I did in last event. I would say that. Um, one thing to know, guys, look how many headliner packs we're getting for the rewards. Literally 10 wins, we get four of these. Eight wins, we get four of these. At six wins, we get three of these. At 14 wins, we get five of these. And at 16 wins, we get five Christian Yelich packs. So it's kind of rewarding. Not going to lie. Obviously, we're getting the rewind pack as well. But yeah, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Drop a like if you guys did. And I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been your boy, Jesse D123. And I'm out.